Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Design. I'm your host Mundane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about games that made you buy a console to play it. So as a collector, I've always had issues with console exclusives and just things that you couldn't play anywhere else and wanting to play the game so bad that it actually forced me to buy the console. Or it was the first game that made me get that console. These aren't in any order of significance or anything like that. I'm not going to really go over the game too much. Probably just go through and mention them. But anything that I mention during this listing, I would definitely suggest that you go and at least check the game out. And if it's for you, then pick it up. All right, so first up, the NES. It was a great and wonderful system. And the game that made me pick it up was Contra. Now, Contra is a great game. You should definitely check it out. Love the music and a few other things with it. You should definitely try this one. Next up, we have the Super Nintendo, and the game that made me buy it was F-Zero. I remember back when Nintendo did the college rounds, and they were showing up and to all the colleges and doing a tour showing off the Super Nintendo. I played F-Zero there, and I fell in love with it. The Nintendo 64. This will be no surprise. GoldenEye. GoldenEye's a great game. Definitely check it out. Even more fun with friends. The GameCube, I bought it because of Luigi's Mansion. It's another just fun, wonderful game. The Wii. Yeah, I kind of fell for the trap and got we got it because of Wii Sports. I knew it was going to be the next Nintendo system that if I wanted to play Nintendo-only games, that I had to pick up a Wii, but I definitely was attracted by Wii Sports. Next up we have the Game Boy Color. Is uh, I, I picked it up because of Pokemon Blue, and that's an upset. Game Boy Advance, I picked it up for Castlevania Circle of the Moon. I'm a big Castlevania fan, and of course that's why I picked it up. For the DS, I picked it up for those Castlevania games. You know, I loved playing Castlevania on a handheld system and can still continue to love playing Castlevania on a handheld system. 3DS. This is kind of a funny story. I actually bought this game before I owned a 3DS, and it's Skylanders, the original one. I bought it to get the exclusive figure because I was a big Skylanders fan, and then I bought a 3DS to, to play the Skylanders game, and it's actually fairly good. For the PlayStation, I bought it for Final Fantasy Tactics. I had a friend that had a PlayStation long before me, and this was one of the games that he had. I remember spending the night at his house and playing this game for hours, and it's, it's what basically made me buy a PlayStation. PlayStation 2? I bought it for Dynasty Warriors 2. Just the idea of mowing through enemies like that was great. PlayStation 3, I bought it because of Batman Arkham. The Batman Arkham series, it's just, it was stellar on the PlayStation 3, and I absolutely love it. Original Xbox. Come on guys, you gotta know this one, it's Halo. That's enough said. Xbox 360, Halo 3. Yeah, I bought it for Halo 3. The uh, the original, no. The Xbox One. I bought it for Halo 5. I knew Halo 5 was coming out on the Xbox One. I knew Nathan Fillion was going to be one of the voice actors for it. And I had to have it. The Master System. The Sega Master System. I bought it for Fantasy Star. It came with a bundle and a bunch of other games and stuff when I got it but I bought it to be to play the original Fantasy Star. The Genesis, I bought it to to pay ca play Castlevania Bloodlines. You know, 
it was one of the few Castle, I think the only Castlevania on the Genesis. You know, the Sega Saturn, I bought it to play a stall. Stall's a beautiful game, wonderful music, definitely check it out. The TurboGrafx-16, funny thing about this one is I bought it to play Area Blasters. And the reason I bought it to play Area Blasters is so that me and my dad could go to the local movie theater and I could beat the arcade version of it and get the high score over and over again so that we could go watch free movies. Or, well, kind of free. It was, you know, 25 cents for a pair of tickets and all I had to do was spend a little bit of time, you know, beating my latest high score. Dreamcast, I bought it for Sonic Adventure. The game was awesome. I remember the Dreamcast magazine touting it in episode zero of our, yeah, issue zero of the Dreamcast magazine, and that's why I bought it. I, I still wish I had my issue zero of the Dreamcast magazine. I have all the others, just not my issue zero. The 3DO, I bought it for Road Rash. It's one of the best versions of Road Rash, and I knew that, and that's why I got it. The Atari 2600. Bought it for Pac-Man. You know, yes, I know it's not a great version of Pac-Man. That's why I got it. Just so that I could actually have like an old 2600 and Pac-Man. The Atari 5200, I bought that one for Dig Dug because it had a really good version of Dig Dug. Has the good music and stuff like that and just a good old school feeling. The Atari 7800, I bought that one for Joust. I mean, my dad used to play Joust quite a bit and it was a lot of fun for both of us. And I wanted that feeling back, so that's why I bought the 7800. The Atari Jag. Man, you guys know this one too. I, I bought this for Alien vs. Predator. Who doesn't buy this system for Alien vs. Predator? The Atari Lynx. And yes, there was a game that actually made me buy this system. It was California Games. You know, I, I wanted to play California Games, and so... I went and got one. The PlayStation Vita. I got this game, or I got this system because of Dragon's Crown. I love Dragon's Crown. Yes, I know the artwork is a little bit cheesecake, but, um, you know, I, I, I like the side scrolling beat em up. I love the RPG elements. And that's why I bought a Vita. The PlayStation Portable. Uh, I bought that one for Fantasy Star Portable. In, a far away galaxy. In an earlier episode, I went over how much I really do love the Fantasy Star series. You should go back and watch that one. The Wii U. Uh, yes, there was a game on the Wii U that I wanted to play really bad. And it was before the Switch came out. And it was Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Now, I do know that there's a Switch version of the game. But... I got Captain Toad for really, really cheap, and I'm probably not going to buy it again on the Switch, but definitely the Wii U. Now, as of this recording, I have not purchased a Switch yet, but I know what game is forcing me to buy a Switch, and that's Starlink. And I love Starlink, I love the exclusive missions for the Switch, and that's why I'm going to be buying a Switch. So, with all of that said, guys... Please, let me know what game made you buy a system. I know there's got to be some of you out there where there was a system that made you buy, or there was a game that actually was out there that made you buy a system to play that game. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon, by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.